guys, good morning. Welcome to the vlog. Happy Monday. Today is not going as I had initially expected because if you guys missed it, there was a hurricane that came through LA yesterday, which is crazy that that sentence just came out of my mouth. Honestly, it wasn't too bad. There was just a lot of rain and I am so eternally grateful that the house is now officially fixed. And I will say every time it rains, I get a little bit nervous and we do check the house to make sure everything's good. And as far as we're concerned, everything in the house is fixed now. So basically yesterday went off okay. No leaks in the house, no flooding, nothing like that. Just a, a lot of rain outside. And that's where we like to keep the rain outside. But yes, because of all the rain, we did have, oh my God, there was an earthquake yesterday, which being born and raised in California, I've obviously experienced earthquakes my entire life. I still never do well in them and they always really freak me out. Yesterday's magnitude, I believe was like a, was it 5.1? 5.5? Yeah. 5 point something. But that was Cal's biggest earthquake he's felt since moving to LA. The whole house like doo doo, like shook left to right. So yeah, let's make a delicious brunch together. Okay, here's the chicken sausage I'm cooking up from Jones Dairy Farm. Put it in the air fryer with the hash browns. Okay, so recently I was drinking a coffee in my vlog and my wonderful friend, fellow YouTuber Kim Tai, texted me and asked me to show the next time I made it so that she could recreate it at home because she thought it looked delicious. So, Kimmy, this one's for you. I am using the Chameleon Organic Cold Brew Concentrate. I got this at Gelson's. They also have it like at Whole Foods. I've seen it at a bunch of different places. Oh, Target has it too. This is the dark chocolate mocha flavor. I like this one a lot. This is my second bottle of this one. I want to try a new flavor next though. And it's basically just like a cold brew concentrate. So in a cup of ice, I pour a good amount in because I like my coffee. And on the bottle, it says that it's like a one-to-one -one ratio. Coffee concentrate to water or concentrate to milk. I'm making mine a little creamier. So now I'm gonna go in with some almond milk. I like this one. I like the vanilla one as well. And I'm just gonna pour a splash of that in. And then on top of that, right now I'm just trying this silk almond creamer caramel flavor. I think the caramel's okay. They have a creme brulee that I wanna try as well. Do a little splash of that. And then for a little extra fun, my aunt got me these syrups. They're from Home Goods. This brand is my favorite that I've tried yet. It's Apiterra. I don't know, but they taste really good and not like super alcoholy. I'll do a little splash of this. And then that's it. We give it a good mix. And there we have it. Mmm, delicious. Got a lot of flavors. Ooh, you know what? I'm gonna put some cinnamon on top. It kind of, honestly, when I put the cinnamon on, tastes like the Starbucks brown sugar shaken oat milky one. Cause like the caramel and the chocolate and the vanilla, all the flavors go really well together with the cinnamon. Mmm, so good. We have breakfast. Hash brown, chicken sausage, two eggs, some golden kiwi, and some raspberries. Looks so good. I will say Cal's looks more delicious because his hash brown is avocado toast. I told you to get down, ma'am. Sit. Thank you. That looks so good. Hello guys. Okay, I decided to come out for some errands and the weather is stunning today. The rain has fully cleared. Look at these beautiful skies. I just got to Target because I am going to get some little organizational bins because I'm gonna redo all of my makeup storage today. And then I think I'm gonna run to Whole Foods to grab some things that we need to replenish. I ran out of like olive oil, avocado oil, things for cooking that I like to get from Whole Foods. So let's go do that, but first, Target, yay. Okay, looking for the little, oh, here they are, little bins. I really wanna buy a fall candle, but I feel like it's just too early for it still, but I want one so badly. All right, I wanted to check out all these little bright room bins because they're really well priced. These are a little big, but six bucks for this is not bad. I think I might need to go to the bathroom section though. Okay, found them. Okay, got a bunch of bins. I'm gonna test them out, use what I need, and then I'll return whatever I don't use. I'm also, I was getting nervous walking in here. I'm grabbing some of these Midol. They're like little stick-on heating pads. I saw Victoria Garrick Brown talk about them. She got sponsored, but they looked really cool, and I've been having really bad cramps lately, so I wanted to try them out. My heating pad has been in full force the past couple of days, and it'd be nice to like get up and have these to walk around with. So really excited to try these. Now I'm just perusing and seeing what catches my eye. Ooh, this was my favorite body wash in college. I still love the scent of this so much. The Caress Shea Butter and Brown Sugar and they got a new bottle. That's pretty. I love trying out all new body washes. I also really like this brand. Their tropical one, if you're like when you like tropical fruit scents, Exotic Pulp. It smells so good. Passion fruit oil, lots of other stuff. They're all so pretty. I also love the Native. Of course, I love the Olay ones too. These ones are so 
so good. These ones, this line, always have this in my shower. I love this olive oil. It's so great to cook and also I'll bake with it too. And I just like the little container. Also wanna have some avocado oil. Love it. Okay guys, I am back from going into Whole Foods. I grabbed a bunch of stuff and I'm gonna do a little haul. I'm also like in the open area of the parking lot so hopefully no one stares at me, but I'll go quickly. So things that we needed to replenish, I am almost out of cornstarch so I got this. Then I grabbed these. There are a lot of cars coming in right now. This is uh, gluten-free and dairy-free breadcrumbs. I also grabbed a new bottle of the cold brew that I had this morning because I'm almost out of the other one. I just got the plain espresso coffee flavor this time and I wanna give this one a try. I also wanna make these today these are gluten-free monster cookies so basically it's just like a little peanut butter M&M cookie mix and you put in butter peanut butter and an egg and then it comes together and it's made with like oat flour and little chocolate candies and I love a cookie so I wanted to give these a try you guys saw I got the avocado oil I got the olive oil and then I'm really excited because I was gonna go to Costco to get some fish again if you guys watched the last vlog I made this delicious like copycat Nobu the Nobu miso cod but I did did sea bass instead. Oh man, there's a lot of people looking. Ah, hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to you down here until everybody walks away, but I used that sea bass that they had at Costco, which was really good. And I was gonna go back, but I just was scared to fight all the crowds just for a piece of fish. So I was like, you know what? It's fine. I'll go when I actually need to go to Costco and then I'll grab it. But they had the actual fish itself, which it's called sable fish, by the way. They had the real fish, not the sea bass, like the cod here at Whole Foods and it was on sale. So I wanna try and make that again but it takes a few days to marinate so I figured I'd do it today and then I can eat it in a few days and it was on sale so I got two packs of it it's much smaller than the Costco fish but I'm going to marinate these yes okay see you guys soon bye home and I'm making some lunch I need a little tripod oh my tripod's right there for lunch we're doing did we get these at Target I think it was Target yes Target I got these chicken tender, gluten-free chicken tenders are frozen. I just threw some in the air fryer and then I've got some microwave broccoli cooking right here. I love broccoli steamed in a bag in the microwave. I think it's so delicious. I love how soft it gets. Obviously you could steam your own, but this made it easier. And let me go to the pantry. Oh, I forgot to boil my water. We're gonna make some boxed mac and cheese for lunch. This is the Annie's vegan mac, gluten-free rice pasta and cheddar flavor. Cal, oh thank you babe, tried the rice pasta recently because that's all we had in our pantry. And what were your thoughts, Cal? It was so good. Really good. I had the, um, what is this one? This one is the vegan cheese and the gluten-free pasta, but like they're oh, all, yeah. they're all good and they all taste the same to me. The regular, the rice pasta, it's box mac and cheese, you can't go wrong. So I'm gonna make this, stir the broccoli in, top it with the chicken, a delicious processed lunch. Making lunch and as you guys know, the Wi-Fi is out and I believe my my cell tower also just got taken out because I have zero service and I am currently just alone with my thoughts, which nothing is much scarier than that. Pasta is cooked. I love wearing big sweatshirts because they also act as pot holders. Noodles, back in the pot now. Oh yay, my cell's back on. I got a text. That was short lived, it was honestly kind of nice. All right, cheese packet going into the noodles as well as third cup of almond milk right here. Pour this in. And now, we add in our steamed broccoli. Name a better combo than cheese and broccoli. I was gonna say, flaming Hot Cheetos and uh, <laughs> cream, cream cheese. cheese. Hell yeah. <laughs> Talk like you're me. Oh shit, I just blanked. <laughs> and it's done. <laughs> <laughs> Hello guys, okay, we've come upstairs to the glam room and this is my little uh, organizational activity of the day. So obviously you saw we went to Target and I bought all of the little bins. I got a bunch of different ones to try. And as you guys know, I am so truly lucky and blessed and this is like my dream job as a girly who, I'm not a makeup artist, obviously I'm not a makeup artist. I'm not even good at makeup, I would say, but I am just someone like a makeup enthusiast. I love to makeup since I was a child and growing into a teenager and now in my adult life, I just love makeup so much and I'm so, so lucky that I am often sent products as a part of my job. Again, I'm like not a makeup influencer, but I do obviously love trying out products and sharing it with you guys and that's a big part of my job. So with that being said, obviously I need a lot of storage for all my stuff and right now my drawers are jam packed. Here's a little sneak peek of what we got going on now. Like these are all of my glosses and it's decently organized. Like up here is lipsticks and lip liners and liquid lipsticks, but again, because it's so stacked, I can't see everything and I want everything to have a fair chance at being used. So yes, let's speed through this.
guys. Oh, Luna's here. Hi, hello. That took way longer than I had initially anticipated, but if you can see back here, I ended up switching. I had the three drawers here, and then I realized with the three, I could do it, but it just still felt a little bit like over full, and I had an extra drawer set, so we moved them over there out of the way, and that's kind of like the overflow area over there, and then over here, it's a lot less crazy than it was before. Let me do a little sneak peek for you. So like over on this side, you guys saw, we've got like the powders, up here is like concealer, it's just way less stuff than it was before. There's still so much stuff, but it feels a lot more organized now. Like brow things are back there. Eyeliners, cream shadow sticks, liquid liners. Those are pencil liners. And then mascara. In this drawer, it's all like liquid and cream blushes as well as down here. Glow products and like a lot of liquid contours and bronzers. Over here, we've got lip glosses as you guys saw. We've got lipsticks over here. Powder, bronzers, highlighters, blushes. And then a lot of like overflows over here now. There's some empty drawers so I can always fill those later but we have overflow of like lash glues, some lashes, more blushes, bronzers. This is my like foundation drawer now. Eyeshadows, liquid lipsticks, just overflow of that stuff. And then that's actually all I really filled. Other than down here, I put like the big eyeshadow palettes because these are taking up a lot of room over there. And then these are like smaller eyeshadow palettes. So yes, okay, did all that. Feel really good about it. I love the drawers back there. Now it feels way less cramped. And now I am going to go have a snack. The Wi-Fi is still out. I don't know when it's coming back and I'll update you guys soon. Bye. Just kidding, I'm back. Before I go, I wanted to share with you guys the office. This is my official office slash guest room now, if you guys didn't know. I haven't showed this room in a while because no progress has been made since the last time that I talked to you guys about it, but I'm always working in here. It's so nice. I love it so much. I didn't really have any updates until today because tomorrow, officially, the wallpaper is coming down and over the next few days, we are going to repaint the room. We're painting the room. We're painting the doors and it's all coming into place. I'm still waiting for some other things to arrive and luckily it's all kind of like lining up at the perfect time. I believe within the next few weeks or so the room should be officially done but I love it so much and I'm so excited. I'll keep you guys updated with this redo as it happens but yes just one last goodbye. I still really do love the wallpaper so so much. I think it's so pretty but again it's just kind of different from the vibe that I'm going for with the office. Okay bye. I did make the cookies. I just ate one and oh my goodness, this thing is amazing. So I just did a half a cup of peanut butter, an egg and some oat milk butter, but you can use just like regular butter. And I just whipped that with a whisk and then I made them into mini cookies. I just used like a little baby ice cream scoop. I got a hot one back here on the pan. Cooked them at 350 for like eight minutes and they are so soft. It's like an oat base, so it kind of tastes like a oatmeal chocolate chip cookie. It is. Delicious. I just had to share. They're fantastic. I'll get Cal's reaction in a second. My co-star has arrived. Hello. What? So like what kind of cookie is this? I think it's like a peanut butter, oatmeal, chocolate chip. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's good. Mm -hmm. Shout out Miss Jones. I'm a Jones. All right, I'm gonna mm -hmm. put them in the little cloche. Isn't it bomb? We're gonna watch a DVD and then go to bed. See you in the morning. Bye. Hello guys, good morning. It's the next morning. The sun is currently rising. It's a beautiful day. We got the Wi-Fi back last night, which I'm so happy about. I finally uploaded some videos last night. I got a bunch edited and ready to go for the rest of the weekend. And I'm up and at it early because I am about to go to my doctor today. In a few days, it'll be my three month point from when I first saw my PCOS specialist, which if you guys remember that vlog, about three months ago. It was the one of me crying in the car. I had finally decided it was time to see a PCOS specialist. I had seen multiple doctors in the past, all kinds of different doctors, my GP, endocrinologists, other gynecologists for my PCOS that I've been trying to figure out for what feels like so many years of my life, what has been so many years of my life. So finally, three months ago, I hit a breaking point and I woke up and I was like, I need to find a specialist because while the doctors that I had seen before were all such nice people and I really liked them as people, I just felt like they weren't listening to what I was saying, nor did I feel like they understood what I was talking about. Obviously I was really nervous because finding a new doctor is really hard, but I, love this new doctor that I found. Never in my life have I been excited to go to the doctor, but I love going to see her because I find out so much more about my body and my specific case of PCOS. I've been waiting a few months to talk to you guys about everything because I 
when I said in the car video of me crying, I wanted to wait until I felt like I actually had changed because for so many years, I felt like nothing was changing. My body wasn't responding well to any medications that I was on before. And finally, working with my doctor and the plan that she has me on right now, I've never been so happy and felt so good in my body, like ever. I'm going today to go see her. We're gonna go through like my blood panel that we just did and all this stuff. So I'm really excited and I'll keep you guys updated after the appointment. Bye. Hello all. Okay, we have arrived at the doctor's office. Well, I'm parked in the car, obviously, and I parked in the exact same spot that I parked in after my first appointment a few months ago. So I thought it would be great to come back into the car and chat after my appointment and reflect on the past three months together. I think I'll just grab this. That's all I really need and let's go. Hello guys, we went through my blood work and I swear every time I come here, I find out so much more about my body and how it's working and what's wrong and what has been wrong for so long that I never knew about. So yes, I don't even know where to begin, but three months ago I was sitting in this exact spot and I had just left this doctor for the first time and I basically just had so much information thrown at me in like a matter of like 15, 10, 15 minutes. And basically I had gone in there and I met this new doctor and again obviously she's a specialist so she was much more knowledgeable on the idea of PCOS and I could tell that just based on how all other doctor's appointments I've had about this have gone and I told her the plan that my previous doctor had put me on I was on birth control I was on certain medications and things like that but I just I knew they weren't working I had expressed to my previous doctor that they were making me feel sick I could just tell they weren't working like my body was just it wasn't doing well so in the first appointment with this doctor she made it very clear that everything that I was on was not right for my body which I knew that and that's what I kept trying to tell doctors but they wouldn't listen to me and now fast forwarding three months I feel so excited and comfortable to talk about everything that I've been doing today because I have never felt so good and happy in my life and I said that earlier but it's so true in conjunction with trying to be more mindful about what I'm eating as well as just exercising more and moving my body more I am on a few different medications and supplements that my doctor has prescribed me I am on a semaglutide and what falls under a semaglutide is like Ozempic, Manjaro, Wagovi, things like that again I want to make it very clear that I'm not coming on here and encouraging anybody or endorsing any sort of specific medication. I'm just sharing what has been the best for my health personally. I even spoke on a past Pretty Basic episode about how my previous doctor had told me that semaglutides are an option for people with PCOS and with insulin resistance, but she didn't want to prescribe it to me because my main goal is to be healthy and then also I would like to have the option for children in the future and with PCOS that just makes it a lot harder. But her biggest worry was if I lost weight and then got pregnant and I gained weight back just because I have to get off of it when I'm pregnant, then I would be at risk for gestational diabetes and all these sorts of things, which I totally understood and I was totally in agreement with. And so when I saw the specialist, she told me she didn't agree with the previous doctor because I wasn't in a healthy place to get pregnant at the time when I went in a few months ago. If I had gotten pregnant at the weight that I was a few months ago, that would have brought on a whole other slew of problems. She was very keen on the idea that she would rather focus on my health and the current state that it was at now than hypothetically in a few years. I really saw validity from both sides, from both doctors, but I am personally not a doctor. I don't know much about anything, so I was really torn between both of them, but I also was so willing to give this specialist's ideas and plans a try because obviously she's a specialist for a reason and for the first time, I just felt like a doctor was listening to me. So honestly, I was really hesitant and scared to start a new medication and put my body through a whole new thing. I got off birth control, I've been off birth control, and I was just really nervous, but I was willing to give it a try, and the semaglutide has been absolutely amazing for me as someone with insulin resistance. And something that I've learned from my doctor that I didn't know before is as someone with insulin resistance, my body processes insulin like someone with type two diabetes. And when I tell you guys, I feel like my hormones have truly been balancing out like I have so much energy now I wake up earlier than I ever have before I feel like I have such productive days now I'm not lethargic I'm not tired obviously I've lost weight which is better for my health but for me the biggest indicator that this is working for me and is meant for my body I have zero side effects I like truly just feel absolutely amazing I got my period back I have not had consecutive periods in my life since maybe like a short 
short spurt in my early 20s like I feel my body changing I feel like my body's really responding well again I'm not coming on to advocate for any specific medication I am the biggest proponent of talking to your doctor and figuring out what's right for you but again I just wanted to be honest with you guys I also want to say that this is not my forever I know that this is not what I'm gonna be doing forever with my life but it is currently helping me right now with where I'm at I'm also working actively with my doctor on lowering my testosterone levels obviously figuring out my insulin and resistance helping with my PCOS and we have an active plan in place for when I do want to become pregnant I am already so many more steps ahead than I ever have been in my life so that's not for a while also but the most recent time I went in we've done ultrasounds I've literally seen the follicles on my ovaries which is really crazy and also made me very emotional to like physically see what has been causing these issues for me my whole adult life I am very grateful for everything that led me up to this point because as frustrating and hard as the past few years of not getting answers has been I feel like I've also just learned so much along the way and yes I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys later okay bye hi guys okay I was gonna update you but there I think there's like a dentist or a doctor talking on the phone really loudly over there so I'm gonna whisper so I don't interrupt their phone call but we are at the hair salon and look who's here hi baby we're putting our hair extensions back in and little Zoe got fixed. She got spayed, she looks perfect. We're gonna put our extensions back in. I'm so excited, I miss them so much. I'm also simultaneously filming a video for the main channel as well, so we're getting all the content today, but here's the before. I gotta stop wearing black. I keep wearing black and you can't see the hair. It's here. <laughs> it's got a little, look at this little donut donut. Oh, there we go. It's just like Luna. You got so much energy and you just gotta chew something. You just gotta run and you just gotta chew. You're such a good girl. Yes, you're such a good girl. Updates. Look who's here. I just. Oh my god. Oh, oh, careful. You to hold it. Reflexes. I got it. Thank you, though. Okay, first row is in, everybody. Oh my god. Don't fall. Nobody's allowed to fall. It's so much longer than I remember. I want to chop it like at least a couple inches. I also want to see it when it's curled. Also, my leg just wide open right now. I'm like a little worried if I chop it to where I want it, when I curl it, it might get too short for my liking. So we need to find the perfect happy medium. We're done. The curls are in. It's perfect. I love it so much. I feel like myself again. Met up for lunch. Look who's back from Italy. Well, it's very back but it's Murph. Hello. <laughs> you can't even see his it's face. Me. It's him. Yeah, this is my <laughs> I got like a kimchi protein bowl. Looks so good. Hi guys, we're back home. A few updates. First off, I am, I'm going to flash you, obsessed with these little heat pack heart things that I got from Target, the Midol ones. They are so nice. You put it on top of clothing. You don't put it like directly on your skin and wherever you're having cramps, it really helps and it's so nice and soothing and I highly recommend checking them out. Hello, they remind me obviously like the little heating packs when you go skiing that you like put in your pockets. It's really soothing and amazing if you're like on the go or out and about or doing things while having cramps. Normally when I'm laying down, I put my heating pad on high and just crank it. So now I'm so excited to say hello. Oh, all the girls got groomed. They look so cute. Say hello. Hello. I saw your cousin today. Yes, I did. I am now going to pack for a trip that I'm leaving for in the morning. I'm going to Miami for a bachelorette trip and I am so excited. I have never been on a bachelorette trip before and I don't know exactly what to expect. And I presume it's going to be chaotic, but it's going to be so much fun. I've been to Miami once for a brand trip years and years ago with Beauty Blender, which was so much fun, but I feel like a brand trip and a bachelorette trip are two very different things. So yes, I need to pack and with a lot of bachelorette trips, they do like theme nights or just like themed events and things. So I have some outfits that I'm going to wear that I'm really excited about. This dress first off, I wore this dress to a premiere and it was a long dress and it was really pretty and I loved it. And for night one's theme in Miami, it was like a champagne theme. So I had my wonderful tailor, Sati, hem this into a little mini dress for me. So I'm wearing this on night one. Honestly, it looks really short and I haven't tried it on and I'm just going to try it on when I get there and pray for the best. But we got this beautiful dress to wear for night one. Day two is a boat day. So I was instructed to bring like a black bathing suit. So I'm going to pack that. And then at nighttime, the theme is passion fruit because the bride is a big Drake fan. And so they're going for like very pink and orange colors. And I found this dress online which how perfect is this for the event? It's pink, goes down into orange, and then I also got these shades on Amazon because I thought it'd be so fun to wear these in the club, honestly. Here we go, right here. Glasses with the look. 
Love it. Also, Alicia and I got matching AirTag bracelet things. We got a lot of stuff. I've got my makeup bag already packed from the studio the other day, so I'm just gonna throw that in my suitcase. I'm bringing a bunch of my own snacks because I know when I get to the room at night, I'm gonna want a snack and might as well bring them from home because I have so many here. I've got some popcorn. I'm bringing some little gluten-free honey Dijon pretzels. I've got these little cheese crispy things. I've got some macadamia me a nuts and then I also am bringing these little fruit buttons that were from Trader Joe's so I got those and then I also grabbed these little high heel inserts because I just got some new heels Alicia told me these won't hurt my feet as someone who can't walk in heels like ever I need the best pair of shoes I can get and they still were hurting my feet so I'm gonna put these little inserts in Ooh, okay this is pretty cool there's like a textured thing here and that was my issue is that my arch was like too high for the shoe. So I think I put this here. Okay, that should be helpful. Let's just pray these stick for the whole weekend. Perfect. Okay, shoes are ready. I'm gonna pack my suitcase and I'll keep you guys updated. All the dogs are watching me. Okay, I think I got it all. I got my snacks, skincare, makeup, hair stuff, shoes. I brought tennis shoes to work out, heels to wear to the club, extra little purses for people to borrow for nights out. Underwear, socks, bathing suits, regular clothes, and then all of the clothes for theme nights. And I, I hope I have everything. Wish me luck. Hello guys, it is much later. Cal and I had dinner and watched like four episodes of Suits just now. And now I'm going to bed. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching. I'm about to download some more episodes of Suits to watch on the plane tomorrow morning. So see you soon. I love you guys. And be sure to come back to the next vlog for the Miami trip. Bye.